I love to surf, that's my passion. I've been able to surf in Fiji, Cloud Break, Australia, Bells Beach, phenomenal surfing. I uh, also love to go hunting. Uh, I've got roots in West Virginia, and so I just love to go out there every November uh, and try my best at trying to get a, a, a buck. Man, when I was a teen, I did some pretty stupid and sinful things. Things that uh, were pretty, I was pretty ashamed of for a very long time. I actually was about as far away from God as you could possibly get. The fruit of that was that I actually went to jail several times. I actually got kicked out of a foreign country and went to two drug rehabs. And yet through all that stuff that I thought was leading me to happiness, man, it didn't. It totally messed me up. And so when I was 20 going on 21, I got rocked by God. I mean, in a huge way. God came into my life like divine two by four across the face and just nailed me with the truth. And I found myself falling in love. One of the most awesome things that happened to me to undo all that burden, that guilt of all of that sin and shameful things that I did, because trust me, I did. I went to confession. Man, what a feeling. Just that unburdening of all that stuff on my heart, my emotions, all that baggage and all those issues that I've been carrying around for like a long time. Getting all that out, to have that freedom to say your sins and to walk out of there clean, renewed, and have the most amazing peace you can possibly imagine. That's amazing stuff. When I experienced that for the first time in my life, it was a miracle, an absolute miracle of freedom. And I walked away a new man. Don't be afraid to go in there because it's not really the priest that you're talking to. He's the representative of Jesus Christ, the lover of your soul, who loves you so much and wants to have such an intimate relationship with you. Don't be afraid. Remember, Anything and everything that you say in that confessional cannot leave that confessional. The priest cannot tell anybody, nobody, say everything. Unburden yourself. Don't be afraid. Jesus, merciful Jesus, compassionate Jesus, is waiting for you in the sacrament of reconciliation. So forget about it.